Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use a HLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. This HLOOKUP can be used only for horizontal table because H represents horizontal. In VLOOKUP, we have column headings. But in HLOOKUP, we have row headings. Let's see how to work with HLOOKUP. Here we have a source table containing some product information. We can use HLOOKUP to locate a price based on a particular product. Here the product is Dell. I want to know the price of a Dell. Let's start typing here equal to search for HLOOKUP function, select the function. Now the lookup value. Lookup value is the product, comma, table array, comma, index number. In VLOOKUP, it is a column index number, 1, 2, 3. In HLOOKUP, it is a row index number. With respect to the table, the value which I want is price. It is in the third row. The index is 3. Comma, I want exact match. That is 0. False is nothing but is 0. Then close the bracket and click on enter. Now we can see the price is updated automatically. We can try with another product details also. I want the price for Mac. Click on enter. We can see the prices are automatically updating. Next we will see how to use HLOOKUP and data validation together. That means here we are going to create a drop down list. So that every time we don't need to type the value and we can directly select the value from the drop down list. For this first select the cell. Go to data tab. Click on data validation. Under LO, select list. Click on source. Now select the range. Click on enter. Then click on OK. Now you can see a drop down list is created. Now select the value from the drop down list. And can see the prices are updated based on the lookup value. Lenovo 30,000. Sony 27,000. In this way, we use HLOOKUP function and HLOOKUP and data validation together in Microsoft Excel. For more videos, please like, share, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.